Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name is Chris, these are my Ramshackle Thoughts, and today we are playing Reigns Her Majesty. Now, this is a game, uh, this is a sequel to a game called Reigns that I never had a chance to play myself, but I heard only good things. I also heard that it was basically, a uh, feudal Tinder, where you are presented with a series of options to run the country and have to swipe left or right, and also that if you if you uh, if you play your cards wrong, you could end up on the wrong end of a dragon or a pike, something like that. Either way, let's see what the new one has to offer. What a splendid wedding that was! How does it feel to be my queen? asks King Hankerton. Um, I'll be honest, buddy. Like, I don't even know you. I don't even know who you are. But apparently I'm your queen now, so... Good... F good for me. Ah, uh, you'll get used to it. My mum did. And you'll have the Comtesse Felicia to train you up. See you later! Ah, uh, I'm feeling- I'm feeling pretty, uh about this. Ah, uh, this is the Comtesse Felicia. My, how young the new queen is. It would be- it would honor me if you would call me mother. Uh... Excuse me, what? Of course, just Comtesse Felicia is fine. It is my privilege to teach you how to balance court life. Uh, yeah, go on, tell me about- tell me about balancing court life. Mother. You shall be pious yet flexible. Populist yet royal, mighty yet peaceful, wealthy yet humble. Of course, I'm just a big old bundle of hypocrism, hypocritisms, hypocritisms. That's a word that I just made up. Uh, sure. Okay, I can do that. I can be all of those things at the same time and not explode like a big old paradox. She leaves you to face your first decisions as queen. So yeah, here are basically my stats for the game. My piety, my popularity, my military, and my economy. Hey, look at that. I made all of that sound very similar, didn't I? Alright, what is my first decision as queen? <laughs> the feast of spring plenty has roots in the occult. You must honor only church holidays in the royal calendar. So I can say yes or no. Either will have an effect on my piety and my popularity. So I can either be like, No, Halloween is sacred for ghosts and the devil. Or I can be like, yeah, we should we should only celebrate only celebrate good days, God days. Uh, I'm a big fan of weird, like, Sabbath days, not Sabbath days, uh, solstices and crazy, weird, odd holiday things. Okay, at last, new queen! Let me show you how low I can bow. Watch this, here I go! Alright, Bartholomew de Croquille. <laughs> please, please don't do that. All right, well, this will affect everything if I'm just like, Barty, Barty, buddy, please, just, just chill out, all right? Just, just calm down. Nah, keep going. How low can you go, Bartholomew? I like to be face down. <laughs> I am Bartholomew de Croquil, your court chamberlain and master of ceremony. All right, does the fancy mustache come with the job or did you do that yourself? All right, so I can either I can either wave him off with a with a with a wave of my hand, or I can thank him. Uh, cool. All right, cheers. Oh, but that affects my uh, that affects my force. Okay. Shall I hem your gown in gold thread or plain, your highness? Ooh, some of these are gonna have some effects. Just just plain thread, I think. Let's uh. 
Let's chill out with the gold thread for now. We'll save that for my, uh, for my anniversary gowns. The Cardinal would rather see you look austere, but Glamour always wins the people's hearts. I thought that was going to be the other way around. I would think the people would be like, Oh yeah, she's just like us in potato sacking. And the, uh, the religious leaders would be like, Hmm, yes, that looks very royal. But, alright. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, I got it, I got it. It's cool. I understand. Can I help you with something? Alright. Your Highness, it is customary to commission some songs that will spread your glory. Shall we discuss? Uh, yes. Tell me about glorious songs. Commissioning a stirring theme with words about my political acumen. Uh... About my political... I'm trying to imagine the, uh, I'm trying to imagine the national anthem. And they're very good at coming to... Mutually beneficial agreements. No, it's not really. Not really feeling that. Singer pluck strings to the mournful history of my homeland. Yeah, that sounds good. That that should please the people, right? Yeah, look how happy the people are. The Baroness of Randon. I'm just saying, my queen, isn't it fairer to invite all the noble families to your banquet, not just the rich ones? I mean, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty fair. I mean, I agree with you, it is fair, but how is that going to affect my political standing? Yeah, invite everybody. Bring them all. Come one, come everybody to my castle. Hey, we survived five years. Whew. A wild crowd is outside, bearing gifts for our beloved queen. They're tearing the drawbridge down. Whoa. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> the crowd fights to kiss your ring. Your body is found crushed to death beneath an avalanche of trampled flowers. I- Alright, cool. I was too popular. I guess. Patience the maiden lived a grand, reigned a grand, six years. I got crushed to death because I was too cool for school. Alright, well. Okay. Should we try that again? This time with, uh... This time with a little less suffering, perhaps. All right. The year is 1006. Latoya takes the throne. So I'm going to assume that was our training queen. All right. That was just there's just a practice queen. Everybody gets a free queen at the start, and now you've got to now you've got to actually put in some work. Patience, the maiden's frenzied death is forever a dissertation topic. Queen Latoya was chosen to strengthen ties with the West. She may not be welcomed in her new land. Alright, here we go. The country folk are simple heathens and superstitious. They think red things mean bad omens. Uh huh, okay, I see. My queen, but I'm the king's close friend. Why must I sit by Baroness of Randon at the banquet? Alright, Sir Angrus, just... Just sort your freaking life out. Baroness of Randon sounds pretty cool. I'm guessing this is either going to affect my... This is going to affect my military and, like, money. You know what? How dare you? Go sit where you're told. <laughs> Go sit where you're told, alright? Sorry to intrude, Your Majesty, but the wine I donated to the banquet was not for Sir Angrus. Can we exclude him? Wow, you two just do not get along, do you? <laughs> How? Have I... Is this, is this a court of children? Am I... Am I reigning over a town of petulant baby people? What is this? No. Get over yourselves. <laughs> I just had a nightmare that God wasn't real. I'm shaking. Sh 
Sh should we pray? Oh god. Alright, my king is apparently a wet blanket as well. King Druvius. You know what? My my uh my my religion is suffering a little bit, so sure. If it makes you feel better, let's have a pray. Piety pleases the church's watchful eye, but some feel too much piety weakens this kingdom. <laughs> Why are you in my room? Get out of here. <laughs> Your coronation day approaches, sweet queen. May I instruct you in the coronation rite? I mean, yeah, sure. I'm kind of concerned that I've been queen for four years and not coronated, but here we go. Please, tell me about the coronation rite. One step forward, two steps back. Clap your hands softly and spray your charming perfume. Do you understand? Yes. I've got some royal perfume. The charming scent of royalty. Ah. Smells like the monarchy. You must wear a green dress on your public walk. Remember, the country folk find red impure. Alright. Ah, Bartholomew, always a pleasure to see you. Whoop whoop! Time to officially crown our new queen. She will, of course, perform the coronation, right? Alright. Two steps forward, one step back, clasp your hands, spray the perfume. We got this. Forward! Oh, damn, I'm guessing it's two steps back then. Oh god, I wasn't prepared for this. Two steps back. Clap softly. Spray the royal perfume. I'm guessing by clicking the royal perfume. Whoa! My queen! How perfect you look! How well you did! My eyes are burning! That's how charmed I am. Ah, perfume in nostrils. Why, thank you, Bartholomew. Ah, the graceful. That's us. Latoya the Graceful, that's who we are now. My lady, will you wear the red gown or the green gown for your public stroll today? I kinda- I want to wear the red for scientific purposes, but I also don't want to die in an angry superstitious mob and be burned at the stake for being a witch. These are the things I would like in my life. So I think we're gonna go- well, let's roll with the green and see what happens. Oops, I forgot to say. Green is this kingdom's royal hue. It rouses our fortitude. Sometimes you can't win. I mean, that's good, right? Like, I'm green. I should be green? Am I supposed to be green? Ah. Ah, Sister Mel Melusine. What a pleasure to finally meet you. Finally, a pious queen to bring honor on the land. You must be proud to be so favored by the church. Uh, yes. Oh, I'm feeling, I feeling good about my church buddies. Managed to invite two rival lords to our banquet. There'll be jewels or night. And a mess. What to do? Uh, give me some ideas here, but help me out here. <laughs> Extend the invite to all of your ladies in waiting. Their charms could smooth things over. Do it. Bring out the attractive secondary women. The smell of dirt is in the air. Meat is in my heart. Oh, how I long to hunt. You don't mind if I go, do you, dear? Uh. Oh, off you go. Maybe there'll be some... Some unfortunate accident and I'll be left in charge. Oh god, he just- he went out of the door, tripped down the stairs and hurt his leg. He's been injured on the hunt and it's ghastly. Don't care. Alright, who's responsible? The king's huntsman is summoned to explain. <laughs> hey there, Robin Hood, how are you? 
It's an honor to be properly introduced, my queen. Your loveliness outshines even the legends, says Hankerton the Swift. Right, cheers. The king will be fine. His heroic ambitions again exceeded his noble ability. That is all. <laughs> I just laugh at his face like, ha! Ha ha ha. He did just trip out of the door. That's exactly what happened. You nurse the king's pulled muscle. He soon returns to his usual fitness. Ooh, that's Wonderful. So, so far, so good. A wild crowd is outside bearing gifts. They're tearing the drawbridge down. No! What? No, not again! I can't help it. I'm too popular. I'm loved by the people just too much. It's just who I am, alright? I can't turn it off. It's not a switch. I'm just charming and lovable, and there's nothing I can do to stop it. All right, that'll do for this quick uh, this quick run through reigns. I'm gonna probably give another video of this. We'll probably do another video of this one. I am determined to last more than 15 years before being crushed in a popularist panic. Damn. Well, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you tomorrow for more. Bye bye. <laughs>